Thai section going crazy here at T-Mobile Park. I can only uh, have my fingers crossed that that will continue to grow and get larger. I was <laughs> expecting a beret for you tonight, Angie. <laughs> Diego Castillo is up on the mound for the 17th time this year. I put my hair in a ponytail and tried to get it just as high as your hair. <laughs> I failed, well, but I did working. try. I did try. It was a great effort. Uh, Castillo's been a struggle at times recently for Diego gotten out of that massive jam for the Mariners at City Field striking out Pete Alonzo it was just a pure slider monster that day in particular has been for the full season as well he's on here to protect a one run lead in the top of the eight yeah. trying, trying to get things to Paul Seawall in the ninth yeah I am really hoping that that's kind of a turning point for him uh, he called him a slider monster and you know he does he throws 63 percent sliders 37 fastballs they know what they're getting and his uh, slider moves so much it's so hard to lay off of and the bottom line is uh, if the Mariners are going to go well if things are going to go well for them he needs to go well well there's a good one to start things off strike one to Elvis Andrews Oh and two. Yeah, there's no question for the Mariners to get back to where they want to be. Castillo has to get right. Steckenrider has to get right. The Mariners need Eric Swanson back. He was as hot of a reliever as they had. Outside of Seawald when he went down. And then you're having some pieces that, you know, come along. I, Festa is, is better than I thought he was going to be. So that's kind of a, a, a bit of a nice surprise. Penn Murphy uh, struggled, I know, a little bit tonight. But I love the decision of Scott Service and Pete Woodworth right there, putting him in that situation. He's been so good uh, so far this year. And I think he deserved to be in that high leverage situation. I, I like their decision putting him in there. Swing and a miss. Good stuff tonight for Castillo. Retires the first man that he sees. I like the nickname Slider Monster. This just starts uh, in the middle of the plate and just continues to, quite frankly, inaccurately slide away from Elvis. It's our EQC tracer. Look at that. 90 miles per hour. I mean, that's a hard slider. That's another good sign for Castillo when his velo is there at 95 and he can throw that slider at 89 90. Uh, Kemp calls time. Can we just have maybe less than eight pitches in this at bat? Am I asking too much? <laughs> yeah, let's see. It was nine his last time up. It was an RBI single. First pitch strike. So Castillo's now dot the corners guy. <laughs> I like the velo and I like his location tonight. Diego looks great. Swing and a miss. Pretty. And when I say pretty, I mean pretty filthy. Look at our EQC trace here. This pitch just runs away from him at 95. And again, to see his velo at 95, that, that, that's the top pretty much for him. He's living there. Things are going well. The 0-2. Little Robbie Ray Grunt there. One ball and two strikes to Tony Kemp. He's driven in two. A couple of base hits for the A's. Number eight hitter. High target from Cal Raleigh. Well, it's been nothing but the heat for Kemp, who now looks at a 2 2 count. 
I'm not sure the last time that Diego Castillo has thrown four straight fastballs. <laughs> When you're facing a guy like Tony Kemp who you know has this certain approach you know, knowing that that slider is coming sometimes that can be a dangerous pitch and check swing there is a slider and again he's throwing that slider hard tonight a lot of times we see that pitch right around 88 miles per hour he's clocking in with the slider at 90 tonight and his fastball is at 95. Gets a piece. Tony, we, we've got people for that. There you go. <laughs> Tony's being helpful. The other thing that I'm seeing that I really like with uh, Diego tonight is he's just throwing it with conviction. And that's where he needs to be. He needs to have confidence and uh, just let that slider rip and let that fastball go. Pitch number seven. What was your request again? Were you wanting uh, less than eight. fewer yeah, than eight? Yeah. Equal to or fewer than? I don't know, Ash. It's getting a little dicey. One out, nobody on. Mariners protecting a one run lead. Pitch number eight. Yes, he did. He goes. <laughs> back to back strikeouts. I was thinking I probably should have said it louder that I wanted to see an eight pitch or less at bat, and I thought I probably should have said it a little bit louder that he went. Just, you know, no doubt. Great pitch by Diego. Luis Barrera grabs a bat. He will pinch it here for Pache. Barrera has played well this year in his opportunities for the A's. Is actually DFA'd in spring training. Hey, when I was talking earlier about this Oakland A's team in the rebuild and, and he's he's one of those young up and comers that they really like and like what he's doing and the chances he's been given and he's pesky you know he'll he'll slap the ball the other way every once in a while he'll run in to run for a home run but he likes to hit it on the ground and and, and run like crazy he good speed he hasn't struck out much this year that being said you see the average over 300 but just 33 at bats Disruptive. That's what I it would be a good description for him. There's a strike two and one. Paul Seawald stirring inside the bullpen. Two balls and two strikes. Castillo a chance to strike out the side in order. Meanwhile, activity. Sam Maul warming up inside the A's bullpen. The 2 2. He struck him out looking. Filthy backdoor slider. Castillo strikes out the side in order.